What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of GTA 5 LSPDFR. As you guys can clearly see, we have some winter weather that has moved in here to San Andreas, courtesy of the snow mod, because we can't enable snow in this version of Grand Theft Auto. But I am going to be out here with the Blaine County Sheriff's Office today. I do have some new sheriff vehicles installed. Uh, they're not new to me. I haven't used them in quite a while. Uh, this one that we're currently working with is BX Bugs' CVPI, the 1.9 ELS version. It's the most recent version I believe he has out on lcpdfar.com. Uh, but we are sporting a lore-friendly livery for the Alameda County Sheriff's Office. I will link that pack down in the description if I can find it. It has been well over a year since I last used it. I just have it saved on my computer. So I apologize if I can't find that link, but I'll see if I can get it out to you guys if you want to have it. It's got a bunch of liveries for multiple different vehicles that are both lore friendly and I believe it has ghost liveries as well. But we're up here with Blaine County Sheriff's Office. It is snowing out. It's uh, not too late at night. It's about 9 o'clock in the game here. But I'm going to be out at the Blaine County Sheriff's Office doing a patrol, do call outs, traffic enforcement. Uh, there's not a lot of people out on the road right now, obviously, because it is snowing. So we'll see what we can get into today. 7 King 9, go ahead and show me 10 41 10 8 in service available for calls. Oh, people learn how to drive. So this guy right here in front of us has been zipping around uh, the block here a few times. He was going really fast. I wasn't running radar, uh, but he was going way too fast for this type of weather. So I'm going to go ahead and probably perform a traffic stop on him right now. Just figure out what's going on. Sounds like he actually has a blown out tire. He's running on a rim. Yeah, I think he's running on a rim right now. I, I hear a uh, rim, his vehicle smoking, so it's a good thing we're pulling him over. He's probably going to hit this. Uh, dang, this is a really bad spot. Actually, let me let me try this. Let me go ahead and control Q and... Yeah, that's afraid. <laughs> that's what I was afraid he was going to do. Okay, well... Um, sorry about that, man. Didn't mean to make you hit the pole there, but I'm going to go ahead and just come back here. This is perfect. 7 key nine. I'm going to be 10-11 traffic out on... Westbound US Route 68. I'm actually right before the uh, Sonora Road turn off or the Joshua Road turn off. I'm going to be out with a. Uh, if I can get up to my play check. <laughs> I'm going to be out with an Oracle. It's going to be 28 Frank Paul Sam 044. Occupied times a 1. And I can clearly see his uh, driver's side front tire does not have a, uh, a tire on it. It's just a wheel. So this guy. Owner's license is potentially suspended. We're going to go ahead and request a uh, backup unit. Come out here and join us. Dispatch, can you send me a 1032? Just because he has a uh, suspended license, that's what we're going to call a backup unit. Backup unit is pulling up now. I'm going to go ahead and make contact with the driver here. Oh, who is shooting at me? Are you kidding me? 17 9 shots fired. Wow, that was absolutely insane. Let me get some Code 3 backup to come out here. A couple local backup patrol units. On, um, um, Route we're going to need fire department. We have fuel spilling from fire under the vehicle. Assistance required on, uh, Route 68. I'm going to go and clear the vehicle. Wow, that was absolutely unexpected. I was like, where the heck is the shooting coming from? And our driver is going to be down at this time. So, fire department's going to be doing their thing here. So, wow. Pull this guy over for, I guess you could say reckless driving. He was going really fast through the side streets here in, in Harmony. I was just going to pull him over and talk to him. And as I came out to pull him over, his uh, I heard a sound coming from his vehicle. It sounded like he was riding a rim. And sure enough, I believe he is riding a rim over here. Yeah, he's riding a rim up in the front here. The vehicle's smoking, so I pulled him over. It's a wrap, bro. They're gone. And uh, get up to the vehicle to go talk to him, and I get shot. This guy literally opens fire from inside the car, so... <laughs> That's never happened to me before. That was absolutely insane. So this guy's going to be 1144. I'm going to go ahead and search the body real quick. See what this guy had on him other than the oh, firearm he had. Man, people, calm down. Holy cow. And he's got a meth pipe and some used needles. So, he doesn't have a gun permit, so he obviously had some illegal stuff on him. He had a gun, didn't have a permit for it. I'll go ahead and look him up in the system, verify uh, 
if he has a warrant or not. Desia Bornislav, I'm probably going to forget that. Shut the heck up, dude. I ain't moving anything here. All right, let's see if uh, the Computer Plus will recognize the pet. It will not. Um, here we go. I probably misspelled this terribly. No, yeah, I, I don't even remember what his name was, but... Well, we'll go and search the vehicle real quick. Perhaps his firearm is in there. While I'm at it, let me go ahead and get a uh, coroner down here, which it's not going to let me. Well, let's go and search the vehicle here. Maybe it'll let me do that. I'll start here in the boot trunk. So this guy was dumping fuel on the ground. Uh, when we got up, I guess some of the shots that were fired on him penetrated the fuel tank. Mosquito repellent, a seems legit t-shirt, <laughs> and a flashlight. Alright, well, we're going to be calling a wrecker out here to grab uh, this car. Dispatch, can I get a tow out to my location? Tow truck. Assistance required. On so, on my mini-map, there's a red dot over in the parking lot. When I first pulled up started getting shot at, I thought the shots were coming from over there. And then I realized this dude's window, his rear window had holes in it and it was shattered. And I was like, oh, the dude in the vehicle shooting at me. Oh, so, alright. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and clear all the backup units off the scene here. I'm gonna go ahead and request a corner. It's not gonna let me do it through this menu, so I'm just going to go here and do it through here. Backup required. We'll get a corner out here to pick up this body. The scene is code for dispatch. Go ahead and show all units except myself. 10-8, we are code 4 on this scene. As soon as the coroner is through here, I am going to be 10-8 uh, myself. So, we will let the coroner do their job. Apparently, the police uh, don't know how to drive this time of year. So, I'm going to go ahead and let this scene get cleared up, and I'm going to be back 10-8. Oh, dude, that is... Underglow, we can't have that color. Going to be performing a traffic stop on this SUV for illegal underglow. Underglow in and of itself is not illegal out here in uh, the county, but that specific color is. Man, it's snowing pretty hard out here tonight. Off to the side of the road, man. Not on the freaking middle of it, dude. Holy cow. It's really not difficult to pull off to the side of the road. That land stalker needs to not be facing that angle because I don't want to get shot at again. All right. Dispatch, I am going to be uh, 1011 westbound Joshua Road, or southbound on West Joshua. The closest cross is Route 68 Approach. It's going to be the Land Stalker. Plate is going to be 83 Queen Ida Victor 507. Occupy times one, no additional units. Actually, Occupy times two, Target correction. Plate. 83 Queen John Ida Rockefeller. No, going to be uh, making contact with the driver. How's it going, sir? I am Deputy Ice Blaine County Sheriff's Office. The reason why I stopped you tonight is because you have some illegal underglow on your vehicle. Uh, underglow in and of itself is not illegal. However, the color that you are currently using is. It uh, cannot be anywhere on the red or blue side of the colors because that is law enforcement. So, uh, that's why I stopped you tonight. Do you have an ID on you? Mr. Rockefeller? Alright, man. Go and sit tight for me. I'll be right back with you. Looks like uh, Mr. Rockefeller and his wife, I'm going to assume, are having a uh, night out on the town. It's not the best night to be driving around. It's <laughs> blizzard weather here. Oops, I need to go into this menu here. Going to run a plate check and pet database check on John Rockefeller. He is valid, no once. Previous citations, let's see what he's got going. Reckless driving, windshield damage driver. Driver's view. Windshield, so his driver's view was uh, obstructed by his windshield. So, uh, vehicle database. Landstalker, valid. He's got all his stuff on his vehicles good. However, uh, he is going to begin a citation for his uh, his underglow. So, we have to go here to... This is going to be an SUV. It's going to be uniform traffic violations. And I'm going to have to figure out where this is going to be. It's probably going to be an equipment, lighting. Uh, let's see here. Prohibited lighting is probably what I'll charge him with. He's, like I said before, multiple times... Um, neon underglow is not prohibited. It's just the color that he has is what's prohibited. So, go ahead and give him his citation. 
and get him back out on the road. Hopefully, uh, he gets home safe and sound. He's got an SUV, though, so I would imagine he's, uh, he's gonna be fine in this weather. All right, Mr. Rockefeller, here's the deal. I'm gonna be giving you a citation tonight. It's gonna be $100 for prohibited lighting. Um, if you get your underglow removed, you could probably take this down to the sheriff's station. They can knock that ticket down or just completely take it off. Not really sure. I don't really work on the uh, behind-the-scenes side of things, but uh, here is the ticket. Uh, if it's gonna let me... I'm gonna let me do it. There we go. Wrong, wrong keybind. <laughs> There's your ticket, man. Go inside at the bottom. It's not an admission of guilt. Just saying you'll get it taken care of. And again, if you have any questions, feel free to contact the uh, Blaine County Sheriff's Office. Other than that, man, as soon as it is safe to do something, I'm back in my vehicle. You may pull away. Have a great night. Drive safe. It is uh, pretty pretty bad out here tonight, so have a good one, man. All right. We are going to be back tonight. All right. 7 King 9, I'm going to be code 4. Got a citation agent going to show me back tonight. What is going on here? Hold on a second. This truck appears to be trying to get out. We got a sheriff vehicle here. What is going on here? We've got a vehicle that is not parked correctly. We have a truck driver who needs to go back and learn how to drive. Okay, I'm going to be uh, figuring out why this vehicle is so poorly parked. It's not even parked in a parking spot. Oh, crap. 17 9 shots fired. I'm going to be investigating. Sounds like it's coming off to the right somewhere. Yep, it's coming off. Looks like inside this facility here. Yep, it's coming. Oh, <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. And now my car's stuck. Awesome. Well, this match, I'm going to be uh, on foot in the uh, facility off of Route 68. Or West Joshua Road, correction. Shots are coming from back here. Oh, we got yelling coming from back here. If this gate opens, it does. Yeah, we got yelling. We got one guy here. Oh, this guy's got a gun. Put the gun down, sir. Put it down. Dispatch, I need code 3 backup. Lots of code 3 backup. Sir, put that gun down, man. Get on the ground, dude. On the ground, man. I got one at gunpoint, dispatch. Get on the ground, dude. Stay there. Secure his weapon. Got him in cuffs. Okay, he's good. What are you shooting at, dude? There's no one else out here. Why are you out here with a gun? Oh, you're shooting at the coyote? Is that what you were shooting at? Okay. Well, we got our Code 3 back up here. How's it going? Thanks for coming out here. This guy had a gun on him. Didn't know if he was going to start lighting me up or anything like that. All right. Let's go ahead and get this guy sorted out. Okay, here we go. Go ahead and follow me, man. I'm going to go ahead and bring him back to where all the other sheriff vehicles are. My vehicle is wedged. Can I actually get through this gate here? Okay, we're going to go through here. My vehicle is wedged. <laughs> There's no way I'm getting that thing unstuck. I'm going to have to uh, hitch a ride back to the station with one of these guys and grab a new vehicle. But uh, <laughs> I wasn't paying attention to where I was driving. All right, let's go and bring in front of this Vic here. We'll uh, search him, ID him, figure out what his problem is, why he's out here shooting. I don't know if he was shooting at a person or if he was shooting at a coyote, but either way. He had a sniper rifle, it looked like. All right, man. Go ahead and stop for me. Uh, go ahead and turn around. I'm going to pat you down real quick. Do you have anything illegal on you that's going to hurt me, stick me, poke me? Looks like he does have a either a pretty dirty shirt on or the shadow from the uh, the vehicle here is causing that. All right. So we have some, uh, some illegal crap on him here. We got a crack pipe, and we have 12 grams of meth. So this guy is going to go to jail for possession of drug paraphernalia as well as controlled substance. He's been going for jail for meth. That's a lot of meth, 12 grams. That's dealer amount. So he's going to be going with uh, possession with intent to distribute at this point. So, dude, where do you think you're going? No, uh-uh. 
What? <laughs> that, <laughs> that cop just slipped on the ice over there. Move out of the way, everyone. I'm trying to get this guy through. This guy just decided to walk off. I don't know what his problem was. But uh, he's going to be going to jail for that. Um, I got his sniper rifle. I probably should have looked at the ID thing that came up when it said uh, if he had a gun permit or not. But anyway, at least grab Ped. Uh, I'm going to go and question him. Um, have you had any drugs recently? You got a lot of meth on you. No drugs. Drugs make you sick. So you're just a dealer. You don't actually do the drugs. Uh, what are you doing out here, man? Why are you out here with a sniper rifle shooting at stuff? This guy's gonna invoke his right to shut up, so. Alright, man. Well, you're under arrest tonight. You're being charged with possession of drug paraphernalia. Charged with possession of methamphetamine, as well as possession with intent to distribute. And you're probably gonna get charged with, uh, discharging a firearm, uh, within city limits. You're technically within Harmony city limits, but there's no reason why you need to have a freaking sniper rifle out here, dude. So. Well, that's what you're being charged with, man. I'm going to go and put him in the back of uh, this Crown Vic right here. I'm going to go see if I can get my vehicle unstuck, but I am 99% positive it is stuck and it ain't getting unstuck, so. Go, go. All right, so um, you guys want to go ahead and take care of the charges? I got to go figure out if my vehicle is going to get unstuck or not. I'm going to go and clear all these guys off here. 7 key 9, we are code 4. We got one in custody. Go ahead and clear all the units off the call. I'm going to go and see if I can get my vehicle unstuck. It's way over here. I was not paying attention to where I was driving, and I also wasn't used to the handling line for the car. But here's my car. I'm. <laughs> it's. I think it's stuck. There's. There's no way it's getting out. Let me jump in here and see if we can get it unstuck. But I'm. I'm pretty sure it's. Uh... See if I can. Nah, it's stuck. It ain't coming out of here. I'm just gonna sit here, spin my steering wheel all day. Da da la 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 la. -la. <laughs> this thing is stuck. All right. Well, 17.9. Go ahead and start a tow for my vehicle. I'm gonna have to get this thing towed out of here. Go ahead and uh, find my tow. Did I did I pass it? Yeah, I did. We're gonna need a large tow truck. Go ahead and tow a cop vehicle. As sad as it is, I have to tow this thing. Yeah, this thing is wedged in there. If I didn't have a push bar on this thing, could I get it unstuck? Probably. But anyway. Well, I'm going to hit you right back with one of these other cops before they get out of here, and I'll catch you guys here in just a second. Go ahead and go through the parking lot here and uh, check it out. That vehicle just pulled out. A lot of crackheads like to come back here. I'll, I'll run around back here real quick. Just go ahead and go dark. No one's sitting here. We will stealthily sneak back behind here, see if anyone's back here. I do not see anybody. There is a vehicle back here, though. There's two vehicles back here. Um, probably employee vehicles. Let me just run their plates real quick. Go ahead and just jump out here. 7 King 9, can I get a plate check? It's going to be on a Patriot 47 Williams saying King 490. Suspect's license plate 47 William Sam King 490. No 1099. Just want to make sure it's not stolen or anything like that. Second one's going to be a Dilettante 24 Boy Union Edward 439. Target vehicle license plate. Two, four, boy. Yeah, no flags. I'm going to assume these are employee three, cars back nine, here. No, 1099. But we'll swing around the front, check that out real quick, and then we'll get back on the streets. That is a really cool red light on that tower over there. But usually there's, uh, sometimes people back here smoking pot. I've caught people back here before, so... But it's a pretty nasty night out here tonight. You got some people out front here. These three guys. That guy's drinking. That guy's on his bike. That dude is drinking as well. I'm not really too worried about it. Parking lot is clear. And we're going to be back out on the street tonight. all units. Officers report we are code uh, four on um, San Andreas Avenue. No okay. further units required. Awesome. I'm code four. <laughs> code four, apparently. I don't know what the heck that call out was from. What was that call out from? Okay. 
Awesome. That's not awesome, though. Bike just uh, running by. Has he got a cowboy hat on? Cowboy biker right here, guys. Cowboy biker. No shirt. Freaking middle of the freaking snowstorm. Riding down the road. That dude must have frostbite. Stop, dude. Holy cow. Got a coyote off to the right. Dispatch, I'm going to be 1011 traffic stop. Eastbound Route 68. I'm going to be out with a bike. No plate on it. Uh, driver has a cowboy hat on and no shirt. It's going to be a white male. He's got blue uh, denim shorts on. Um, <laughs> we're going to call a local patrol unit out here. Can I get a 1032 out here? Grande Sonora Desert. I'm going to go ahead and make contact with the driver here. Ocean 1 en route. How's it going, man? I'm uh, Deputy Ice, Blaine County Sheriff's Office. Uh, is there any particular reason why you're riding your bike out here in the middle of a snowstorm without a shirt and no helmet? I mean, that's a pretty nice bike. It's probably goes pretty fast, and you know, if you if you wipe out, the roads are slick. I mean, you can see the reflection of that car's headlights right there. I mean, that's slick roads, dude. You could easily wipe out. You're gonna have some nasty injuries. Um, do you have an ID on you? And any particular reason why your bike doesn't have a plate on it? Let me go ahead and see if I can run the VIN, just to verify. See if this vehicle is what it's supposed to be. It is a Dinka. That sounds about right. That coding is probably wrong. We're messed up. <laughs> but uh, it's a 2010 Dinka, so the bike does match, I think. Um, I'm going to get this guy's ID real quick. Do you have an ID on you, man? I probably already got his ID. I'm just... Yeah, Derek Hunt. Okay. Uh, let me go and run up to the system. Go and watch him, deputy. At the very least, this guy's going to be getting a reckless driving charge for overtaking a vehicle like that, the way he did. And he doesn't have a, a plate on his bike, so that's going to be another charge. Got Derek Hunt. He has a suspended license, so he is actually going to be arrested tonight for that. Um, for roleplay purposes, we'll go ahead and say we were able to get the license plate, uh, from the VIN. So we'll look up the vehicle. It is a double. It is not a Dinka. Uh, so that is going to be a major problem right there. The VIN. Unless it's a Dinka double. That's probably what it is. It's a Dinka double. That's what I'm going to guess. Let me actually just go ahead and verify. I, I, I don't think the play check is going to you know, do anything about it. This guy's going to be going to jail tonight. He's going to be arrested for uh, his suspended license. He's also going to be charged with, uh, what is this? 17 9 shots fired. Oh, my goodness. Get some code 3 backup out here. What are you guys doing? Shooting at a pig. Stop shooting. Where is this guy at? He's back behind the bushes, I bet. There he is, right there. Seventeen. Now we got shots fired. There's more shots coming from the behind the bushes somewhere. They were shooting a pig over here. Is what they were doing. That deputy's running back to his car. We got to clear the area over here. Figure out. Uh, how many people were down? I think there was just one person shooting. Yeah, we got a suspect down. Dispatch, go and start EMS. Ambulance. Assistance needed in... Uh, wow, Grande the Sonora snow Desert. has diluted in the blood. That is... <laughs> that is creepy. <laughs> I'm gonna go and clear his weapon if I can find it. Uh, apparently, I can't find it. Okay. Well, we've got an ambulance on scene. They're going to be attending to him. Um, I'm going to go ahead and run back to the traffic stop over here. I'm going to see if that guy's still here. I highly doubt he is. He probably took off. Oh, yeah, that guy took off. He's gone. He wasn't sticking around. Well, if we see that guy again, he's getting freaking arrested. He'll be charged with uh, fleeing at this point. He does have a suspended license. But I'm going to go ahead and transfer my vehicle down the street here to this new stop we're on, which is not even a stop. It's a, a shootout. Let me actually flip around here. I got you. 
All right, so this guy's going to be 1144. Go ahead and request a coroner to come out here. Or he's going to disappear. Awesome. Fantastic. You got to love uh, LSPDFR entity persistence. Okay, so for role play purposes, this guy was picked up by the ambulance. He'll be transported to the hospital. They'll probably pronounce him dead there, and then they'll hand him off to a uh, coroner. So, dispatch, we're code four on the scene here. Go ahead and uh, clear all the units off. Go ahead and uh, put a bolo out for that bike. If we happen to see it again, we will initiate a stop on it, but I highly doubt we will see it. But in the event that we do, I just watched a cop get hit by a car. That's just wonderful. <laughs> in the event that we see that bike again, uh, we'll perform a traffic stop on it and we will deal with it We've as needed. Um, we have a suspicious on, um, vehicle. I'm going to go ahead and take Joshua this call. Road. It is out here on Joshua Road. They want a code to response, so I'm going to go ahead and head up that way. 7 King 9, going to attach from that call. And uh, this guy is driving slow. Good for him. I actually love it how the AI is actually reacting to... Oh, you stupid coyote. <laughs> the AI is reacting to uh, the weather, which is nice. Going to go ahead and turn right here. It was reported on Joshua Road, so we're going to head up this way and see if we can find it. And looks like our suspicious vehicle is going to be this one right here. Oh, holy crap. Broken windows up the wazoo. 7 King 9, I'm going to be on scene with that suspicious vehicle. It has every single window broken out and it is deformed. Looks like it was possibly in a rollover or something. Um, go ahead and attach a plate. It's going to be 40 Charles Zebra Henry 111. It is a dilettante, blue in color. Suspect license plate. Four, zero, Charles, Zebra, Henry, and one, it is one, a reported one, stolen vehicle. Stolen so, vehicle. Uh, looks like someone violation. stole it, took it for a joyride, they wrecked violation. it, and they left it Proceed here. With caution. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, clear the vehicle here real quick. Looks clear, no one inside of it, obviously. If there was, we'd see them, but yeah, someone took this thing out for a joyride and uh, they flipped it. Um,. Yeah, I mean, this thing is... I'm going to go and search it real quick, see if there's anything inside of it. I don't think there's going to be anything of interest. Okay, I'm going to run out in the middle of the road to do a search. That's uh, legit right there. Well, some unfortunate person is going to get their car back tonight. Not the way they wanted it, though. We've got nothing of interest in that Heart Liberty t-shirt, nothing of interest. Well, yeah, it looks like whoever stole this car uh, dropped it here and ran off. I don't uh, I don't see anyone in the vicinity of the area that could possibly have been the driver. So we're going to assume they took off running, and for good reason. So I'm going to go ahead and request a tow to come out and pick up this car, and then I'm going to get back out 10-8. Citizens report a disturbance. And Grande Sonora Desert. All right, we have a uh, 911 report coming in for animals locked inside of a vehicle. I'm going to go ahead and respond. I want code 2. Go and shut off my speed radar. 7 key 9, I'm responding. I'm going to go ahead and activate my lights just to get up here onto Route 68 approach. It's got an animal locked inside of a vehicle. We'll probably have to get animal control dispatched out there when we get on scene. Looks like he's going to be just up ahead by the bridge, by the railroad tracks. Yep, right here. 7 King 9, I'm 1023. This guy is a shady dude. Go ahead and attach a vehicle, please. It is going to be a Massacro 20 Mary Ida King 654. Suspect license plate. Two, zero, Mary, uh, probably not to be a code to local patrol. There's no traffic stop. 
and let me go ahead and make sure there's enough room for uh, the vehicle to park behind me here. So, vehicle should be able to park behind me here. Alright. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and see if I can request animal control to come out here. Sounds like it is a cat trapped in the vehicle. Uh, that's the wrong button. I need this backup menu. Uh, I believe I figured out how to call animal control, but I don't remember how I did it. Uh, let me go through this menu. Vet? Probably. And this dude's siren is going to be on 24-7 here. Alright, we're going to need to get a veterinarian out here. We do have a cat trapped in the vehicle. Dispatch, we do have a cat trapped in here. Let me go and talk to this guy, see if I can figure out what the key bonds were to talk to him. How's it going, man? Uh, this guy says I have to, uh... I can't see any animals here. Are you freaking blind, dude? We're only gone a few minutes. What? Get out of the vehicle, man. Out of the vehicle. That's a Grand Theft Auto charge you got right there. Get on the ground. You idiot! Get on the ground. She got tased for good reason, too. Get on the ground, you... Stop tasing her, dude. Holy cow. Stop tasing her. Holy cow. <laughs> Let her get on the ground. <laughs> this woman literally walks up and gets in the car. I'm going to go ahead and put her in cuffs here. Driver walked off. I didn't get enough time to read the dialogue that came with it, but I believe I caught something along the lines of he needed to be somewhere. But the fact that he walked off is a little... That's him over there, I think. Yeah, hang on a second. I hope, for the love of God and empty persistence, that this woman does not disappear. The car is going to disappear. We can... Get that. King 9. We have a petty theft in Harmony. Why is my siren on? This guy's gone. Okay, well, screw you, Anthony Persistence. I'm going to get back to that scene. We have a shoplifting report. I don't know how I accepted that call. I probably hit a bind on my board here. All right, we're back here on scene with this, uh, this person. Figure out why the heck she just walked up and randomly decided to get into a car. Uh, let me go ahead and clear my last call here. I don't want that shoplifting call. All right, ma'am. So why don't you go ahead and uh, come over here to the front of my vehicle? I don't want you to get hit by a car. Come right here. Why don't you explain to me why you decided to just walk up to uh, a possible disturbance? Walk up to this car and get in it. Is this your car? I mean, what are you doing out here tonight? You're waiting for a friend. Okay, so you got bored of waiting and you decided to steal someone's car off the side of the road? Is that what you're... Is that what I'm understanding here? Where'd you come from tonight? You have the right to remain silent. All right. Well, you're going to invoke your rights. Well, at this point, man, you're going to be charged with Grand Theft Auto. I'm not even going to do attempted Grand Theft Auto. I'm just going to slap the full charge on you tonight. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and request a female unit to come out here and search her. Assistance required. And I'm going to go ahead and dismiss this deputy over. here. Individually dismiss him here. Thank Have a good one, man. Thanks for coming out and backing me up. So, I'm going to go and search this vehicle. I mean, first and foremost, let me get the plate. I already ran the plate. I'm going to run it again because I forgot who the registered owner was. This is going to be that Massacro. Same plate as before. Registered Number owner is going to be... Freaky Lolo. I can guarantee you this person here is not Freaky Lolo. Alright. Let's see if it's going to register her. Nope. Okay. Well, I guess I have to pat down the ped myself. Go and get her ID so we can identify her. LSD, a handgun, a baggie of cocaine, and a suicide note. What was this woman thinking? Christabel Anderson is our uh, d person here. She has no gun permit, so she's a legal possession of a firearm. I guarantee you she probably has a felony charge in her book. I'm going to go and look her up real quick, but holy cow, you you cannot get more stupid than that. That guy's driving. Oh, road rage incident. Let me go ahead and slow down traffic so I don't get killed. Nor does my deputy here, who's actually probably shouldn't be standing there on the road.
All right, let's jump into the system here. We got Christabel Anderson. She has no record whatsoever. Why would you screw it up like this, Christabel Anderson? Why would you do this? I'm going to go and file her charges right now. Charges. She's being charged with... She had LSD. She had a handgun. Um, I have to try to remember the other thing. She had another item on her that she shouldn't have. I, I forget what it is at this point. I don't really don't want to go research her. So she had LSD. Let me go and see if that's on scheduled one actually is where it is. LSD. I'm going to go ahead and say she had... You know what? I'm going to go search her again. I want to get these charges right. So I can assist this sheriff deputy to get off the road, but she's not going to move. All right, ma'am. I'm going to pat you down again. I'm going to get your... Uh, Get what you have on you again so I can charge you accordingly here. LSD, cocaine, and a handgun. Okay. And then, of course, Grand Theft Auto. And illegal possession of a firearm. Okay, back here to the PED database with... Uh, Christabel Anderson. We got drugs. She had... LSD. She had cocaine, which is probably going to be Schedule 2. Um, it's going to be firearms and weapons. It's going to be a felony charge because it is in the possession of some illegal drugs. Uh, it is going to be illegal possession of wanted by prohibited. No, she's, uh, let's see, where am I going to find this? Maybe misdemeanor. Illegal device, firearm, possession. What do I charge her with? Conceal firearm, unlawful transport of a firearm. Uh, well, that's nice. What do I charge her with? Attempt to detonate, no. Assault the firearm. Well, I don't know what to charge. Illegal possession of an automatic weapon? It's not an automatic weapon, though. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to do... Possession of a firearm, ammunition by felon. I don't know what else to charge her with at this point. The weapon's not stolen, as far as I know. Um, illegal possession of a firearm, not just automatic weapon. That would be a nice charge to have in here. Um, and then, of course, she's going to be charged with Grand Theft Auto. So that is probably going to be theft, robbery, theft, uh, Grand Theft Auto. There it is. Or carjacking. Attempted carjacking. Uh... Whatever I charge her with, it's going to be a felony. So we're going to go ahead. You know, I'm feeling kind of nice. I'm going to knock it down to attempted car theft. <laughs> she's, she's got a lot of stuff on her plate, as you guys can clearly see here. So, Well, she's getting charged with possession of LSD, possession of cocaine for the drugs that she had. Uh, possession of a firearm. Illegal possession of a firearm is where it's going to go. It's upgraded to a felony because of the possession of the drugs. And then, of course, attempted car theft. So save and close. Get back out here into the game. I'm going to go ahead and request a prisoner transport. It's probably going to call this uh, sheriff deputy here. Yes, it is actually. So I'm going to go ahead and request a uh, transport to come pick up this car because the driver just decided to walk away and uh, leave it here. So it's going to be impounded and he'll have to pay to get it out. It's a nice car. I'm going to get a flatbed out here. All right, so that scene is code four. I'm going to be ending my patrol here. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like and a comment. Consider subscribing to my channel. I'm going to be getting another LSPD4 out for you guys tomorrow, which will be Sunday. Hopefully this video can get out on Saturday, which is when I'm actually recording it. Um, anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and I will catch you in the next video. Take care.